to avoid naming collisions with other libraries and frameworks, an Objective-C class needs to have a unique name. That's the reason Apple uses prefixes on Objective-C classes such as UIView, CGRect and CA Layer. Swift modules make the need for class prefixes obsolete. Even though modules are an important step forward, they are not as flexible as many developers would want them to be. Swift currently doesn't offer a solution to namespace types and constants within modules. A common problem I run into when working with Swift is defining constants in such a way that they are easy to understand by anyone working on the project. In Objective-C, this would look something like this. Every constant is prefixed with two or three letters to avoid naming collisions, and the name of the constant describes its use in the project. This works fine, but it isn't pretty or easy to read. But it's still better than using string literals throughout the project. Even though Swift doesn't support namespaces within modules, there are a few viable solutions to this problem. The first solution uses structs to create namespaces, and it looks something like this. We define a struct, API, and declare one or more static constant properties. I believe this solution was first coined by Jesse Squires. It works great, it's easy to adopt, and the syntax to access the constants is intuitive and easy to read. There's one unwanted side effect. The API struct can be instantiated. While this isn't a problem in itself, it may confuse other developers working on the project. You could declare the initializer of the API struct private, making it inaccessible to other parts of the project. Another solution was proposed by Joseph Lord in a discussion on Twitter, and it was written about by Natasha Murashev. Instead of using structs, Joseph proposed to use enums without cases. An enum without cases cannot be instantiated, but it can act as a namespace. This solution is almost identical to the one that uses a struct. The main difference is you cannot create an instance of the API enum without having an error thrown at you. Using enums or structs to create namespaces works very well for me. You don't need to put the constants of your project in a single enum or struct. Take a look at the following more advanced example. You have to admit that this looks quite appealing, especially when compared to Objective-C. We create an extension for the user defaults clause and define a nested enum, keys. The resulting API is easy to read and clearly describes the meaning of the current version constant. This pattern may look a bit odd at first, but it works very very well. Not only does it make working with constants easier, it's a simple pattern that's very easy to pick up.